So my name is Geraldine Botten, and a professor uh, in the college, at Ross College of Engineering and Technology, and also the director of the Center for Electrochemical Engineering Research, and I also uh, the founder of a company E3 Clean Technologies. Well, E3 Clean Technologies is a company that is dedicated to provide uh, air quality and water quality and energy, clean energy. Our focus right now is on wastewater remediation, in which we're uh, basically using collecting waste water that contains ammonia or urea and uh, removing those pollutants from water and producing cogenerating energy in the form of hydrogen. We all flush the bathroom and send the problem to somebody else but it turns out that there is a lot of energy consumption in order to clean water. So what I thought was what if instead of taking clean water to make hydrogen I can take dirty water to make hydrogen. And then what run into my mind, well, what if I can use urine, pee, and ammonia, and it turned out that that's what started everything. So it's a classical of what a chemical engineer does. I, got, I conceived that idea, right? And then next day, I was in the laboratory trying to see how that concept will work. And then I got excited when I was able to take a waste that contains ammonia, NH3, break down the ammonia, into nitrogen, going back into air, and cogenerating hydrogen. And then you could use the hydrogen to produce electricity. We are able to conceive a process all the way from a piece of paper or when you're driving in a car and get an idea. And then from there, you go into the lab and do some experiments and then you scale up that process. And then you're able to actually see a transformation into basically a chemical transformation, but now into a process. So that's basically a distinction. We basically conceive and design processes all from an idea to the large scale. I think to, to get ready for a chemical engineering degree, uh, one of the first things, you'll need to like chemistry a lot. Uh, and that's something that is very common into somebody who's gonna go into a chemistry major, into a chemical engineering. But the difference is, in addition to liking chemistry, you also have to like math. I also basically recommend the students to get engaged into doing some research in that. And we have a lot of opportunities for undergraduate students to participate in that. The advantage is, it's not research of just doing and running a machine in the lab. It's basically starting to see how you can design a process from scratch, you know. So it's that practical experience that you will not learn just by sitting on a classroom. So the advice that I will give to somebody who wants to go into chemical engineering is to be persistent and uh, to continue uh, living that passion of liking the chemistry, the math, and the physics. Um, if you are persistent and you have passion for what you do, basically, obviously, that is an advice that you're gonna have no matter what in life you're doing, but it's classically in chemical engineer, you have to be very passionate and persistent and being very organized as well. So it's, it's a career that is exciting. Your day will be different every day. So you kind of have to get used to like, live the way, live the life that way. So it is important to always keep the passion that will keep you going no matter what you choose.